Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shadox the Ball Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park construction update, a newsroom construction update from the Ten Inversion roller coaster at Flamingo Land. Now I want to give a special shout out to Jake Parker, who's been sending me lots of construction photos, things that have been happening on site. And we are going to show uh, a Flamingo Land official construction photo from their social media, so a big shout out to Flamingo Land, the park themselves. Uh, but before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to never miss a YouTube video. Share with your friends, family, and on social media. Make sure you get your questions in using hashtag question before or after your question in the comment section down below. We'll be starting on Instagram uh, as well uh, when we get close to 1500. Uh, so, uh, yeah, make sure you stay tuned on Instagram for that. Links in the description. Uh, and now let's get to this construction update. So, yeah, big shout out to Jake Parker, who's been saving lots of construction updates. Um, and we have an official missed shot. Now, there's something really specific that I want you guys to spot uh, when seeing this image. So, this is from Flamingo on social media, so big shout out to them. Let's put it on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dorsey. Uh, so, yeah, the missed shot, by the way, looked cool, doesn't it? It looks very cool, doesn't it? But there's one specific thing that you need to spot when looking at this image. Now, look at uh, the bottom of the corkscrew next to the vertical loop. Can you see just a section of the track at the bottom of the image um, sort of painted differently to the rest of the track? You guessed it, it's being painted grey or silver as it looked as it was in the original planning documents. Uh, you know, we're expecting we were, we were expecting silver track and I think black support if I'm not wrong. Um, in the original planning documents for this. And it looks like they're going on their wish. They're gonna they're gonna paint it up uh, really nicely. So um, yeah, it kind of feels like a bit of an icon color scheme, like a half icon color scheme uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, so you know, it, it, it's gonna look cool, isn't it? And I think it already looks cool with the mist. I kind of like the original color scheme, but I think it's gonna look even better with the the silver track and the black supports, or could be black supports. You never know. Uh, it could be all grey for all we know. Um, Obviously, they still haven't released a name for this yet, but I am. I think I'm still putting my money on Inversion. But, I, I, some people might not like that name, Inversion, but I think they're going to do something really cool with the logo, or the name, or just something to do with the ride itself. Uh, maybe give it like a sci-fi, futuristic backstory. You know, this is like your, your aerial test machine, we call it Inversion. Uh, and again, you could re you could replace the I and the O with the 10, as in 10 looping. So there's some cool stuff you could do with this. Uh, you, you know, people might not like the name Inversion, if it is going to be the name. But I think that they can do some really cool stuff with the name that they've got. So, you know, I don't mind either way when it, what it's called. I, don't, I really don't mind. I know Flamingoland's marketing team can do some fantastic stuff. I've said this in previous construction updates on this ride. They can do fantastic stuff. Um, you, you, you look at uh, Pterodactyl, you know, the Zampella Vertical Swing. Uh, fun fact, if anyone's not watched any other Flamingoland videos that I've done, fun fact about Pterodactyl, the Zampella Vertical Swing uh, that opened in 2012 uh, in the summer. Fun fact, it was, was rumoured to be called the Monkey Puzzle Tree. Fun fact for you there. Uh, <laughs> just a little random fact for you there, why not? But yeah, you look at the the logo style for that and you think they do a fantastic job at that. Hero. Now, that not maybe a light coaster in the community, uh, but you've got to admit the Hero does look pretty, uh, pretty dapper. Uh, <laughs> that's my word of the day. Dapper. <laughs> uh, but, no, you've got to admit, even though the coaster may not be light in the coaster community, the logo does look good. Um, Dino Stone Park, they do some nice designs with that. Um, obviously, the other rides in the park have brilliant logos, Mumbo Jumbo, the Rockwork logo for Kamali, you know, they do some fantastic stuff. The Lion, they have like the, the normal badge logo, but I like the Rockwork logo as well, the sort of Kamali letters as part of the Rockwork, I like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, Flamingoland's marketing team, they do some fantastic stuff. You know, people might not like some of the names of the rides at Flamingoland, but they do a fantastic job with the marketing that always backs it up. So, you know, even if people don't like the name Inversion, you know, they can do some really cool stuff with it. Because I know marketing team at Flamingoland can do some fantastic things. So, we should all not be worried about this, no matter what the name is or anything like that. We know they're going to come good with it. So, 
Uh, I think we're probably going to be looking at a May June opening, maybe. Uh, we could be looking at an April opening. We could we, literally could be anything between April and June. It could literally be that, or maybe even July if they want to do a late opening. So. Uh, it, when it when it opens, if they confirm an opening date, obviously we'll bring another update. But of course, when it opens, I'm really, really excited about this project. So thank you very much for this construction update on the Ten Looping Coast Strip Flamingo Land. We're going to nickname it Inversion for now because I think that's the most likely name choice. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Coast Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Again, shout out to Jake Parker for bringing me some updates on site, what's happening, etc. Make sure you. Uh, please share it with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, keep them the coast alive. Keep your questions in for the Q&A session. And for now, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.